Hi guys! I've made another vlog. So, um, winter is here, kind of. Um, we've had a tiny bit of snow, but mostly it's just been either frosty or rainy. This might earn me a few dislikes, but I really love winter. I love it when it gets dark and cold. I don't know, it calms me down. Um, makes me more like introspective and creative and more spiritual. <laughs> I'm still trying to find a good balance of getting all the things that I want to do done each week and also getting some rest. Right now, rest for me means long baths, a lot of reading, um, and a lot of gaming, actually. I've missed PC gaming so much. I haven't had a PC in a lot of years. I've had a MacBook Pro, and so I've been very limited in the games that I can play. But now I have switched back to PC and it is heaven. I can edit videos and upload them much faster and I can play games, which I really missed. Playing games, even, you know, this really intense, high pressure multiplayer game that me and my fiance and his friends are playing right now, it's like therapeutic for my brain because I get to focus on something other than my life and its many challenges <laughs> and I can just get completely absorbed in this other world. Like little bursts of artificial stress followed by just relief and relaxation. It kind of teaches me how to approach my work, which also tends to become very stressful because I want to do all of the things and I want to have done them yesterday, ideally. Right now I am working on my next, my third Skillshare class and a lot of YouTube videos at the same time. And I'm also starting to loosely plan my next big art project. It's bird related. It's very close to my heart and soul. It's a physical product. Um, not paintings, but something something else physical. And um, it's a lot more complicated than anything else I've ever done. And so it's a bit intimidating, but it's an idea that I've had for a long time now and I've really been wanting to realize it. So I'm just gonna try and solve one problem at a time and just start doing it and see what happens. <laughs> I promise I'll talk more about this in a later video because I want to invite you into the process a bit more, but right now it's all I can say, so stay tuned. In other news, I went ahead and bought myself some gouache, some Himi gouache, because a lot of artists here on YouTube have talked about this uh, gouache set and, and shown it and reviewed it and I don't know, it looks cool, it looks fun and it looks easy to use, good quality but still affordable and I needed some new gouache paints actually and so I thought that I might as well get this set and try it out. As soon as they arrived I got really excited and I just jumped into the car and went to pick them up. You can expect another video real soon where I am going to be painting with these uh, gouache paints and uh, sort of review them, I guess. Can't wait to do some gouache birds! Another thing that I'm really excited about since I have this new computer and also because we have recently got, gotten a better internet connection here is that I can start live streaming. I can try live streaming, which is something that I've been curious about and wanting to do for a long time. And I did a little test run, test stream this weekend and it seems to work. So I am going to go live pretty soon. I'm thinking I'm gonna call them like live painting dates where we'll just hang out and paint together. 
I'll stream as I do a bunch of practice paintings and I can also put like the links to the reference photos in the description so you guys can paint along with me and I can answer questions and we can just hang out together in my room. I feel like I practice way too little nowadays. Um, like just sit down and paint. Now that I'm doing YouTube, it feels like I spend, I mean, I spend 80% of my weeks just planning out videos and writing scripts and filming and recording voiceover, editing, uploading. It takes a lot of time and I love it, but I also love painting. <laughs> painting is kind of why I'm even here in the first place. I need it for my mental health and I want to keep improving, I want to keep developing my style. So yeah, a weekly or at least monthly practice session would be good for me and maybe can help you stay on track with your art practice as well. It's tricky, you know, balancing making art with a full-time, part-time job, studies, whatever it is you're doing. I mean, even if art is your main job, which I guess it is for me now in a way, there's still so much peripheral stuff, so much admin and planning and yeah, stuff around the actual art making. You really have to like grab and hold on to your precious just art practice studio time, I feel. Oh, okay. It's uh, soon to be 3 p.m. and it's uh, getting dark here up north getting less and less daylight hours to record on, which is also a little stressful. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. Lately, a lot of you have found my channel and subscribed to it, and I'm so happy about that. Thank you, welcome. Let's have a good time together, creating art and uh, staying sane. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.